Even though there was a patch last week for Battlefield, there's been a flurry of activity recently regarding even more new content for us to discuss. The first map of the upcoming In the Name of the Tsar DLC called Lupkow Pass was available to play on the CTE the week of the Priestay Tehor patch, and this week another map called Brozilov Keep is available to play if you feel like beta testing a game without being paid to do so, although it's a snowy mountain map, so it might as well be the same fucking thing as last week. Unfortunately, the build was crashing harder than Paul Walker, which has been identified as a problem with Conquest on the map, so the Rush game mode is now available to be played for the DLC map, which will be released sometime in September with two other maps, with one of those two mystery maps being playable at the EA Gamescom booth August 22nd through the 26th, and Lupcow Pass coming early, just like those guys in PE commercials. In addition, the new weapons for the upcoming DLC were also added to the CTE with their unlock challenges detailed here, and big surprise, there's actually only eight new weapons with seven additional variants to pad out the totals like a business cooking the books. For the Assault class, as if we didn't have enough automatic weapons with huge magazines that have no business being in a World War One game. There is the Maxim SMG with 80 fucking rounds, so suck on that one, Hell Regal, and a double barrel model 1900 shotgun, of which one of those variants requires you to get kills with a pistol for some odd reason. Speaking of ridiculous challenges, the weapon for the support class, the Parabellum MG14, requires you to get two airplane kills with the Madsen MG Trench, or the LMG with the smallest magazine size, aside from the Vilas under who the fuck decided this level 10 human gun. That should be an absolute joy to earn. Also in line with challenges that will make you wish you were masturbating with a cheese grater, the Scout Weapons, Vetterly and Mosinagan 91, which by the way is the first Russian weapon I'm mentioning for this Russian-themed DLC. Anyways, these challenges require 15 kills with a tripwire bomb and kills using K-bullets against Scouts for whatever fucking reason. Sure, nice, let's encourage people to not kill vehicles with the only thing that Scouts can actually use to kill vehicles with. Brilliant! The Medic class gets another Russian weapon, the Fedorov Automat, which is another rifle that can be put into fully auto, and the General Liu rifle, which is actually from China, who was MIA like paper airplanes from the First World War, but then you remember that Russia and China actually do share a huge border, and that's at least closer than the other DLC guns that are from Germany, US, and Italy. There was also a Nagan revolver for more Sukabliet in terms of weapon variety. And speaking of pistols, there are four new weapon skins spotted on the CTE, shown here without any names attached to them. This bluish green, this bluish pink, a golden red striped, and a golden green one. Let me know which one that you liked best in the comments section. I'll take number one, please. Just like a Billy Mays commercial, but wait, there's more as additional mystery weapons were found in the files for the CTE. Three of the five were accounted for in the weapons I spoke of earlier, but the remaining two are a question mark, the Perino Model 1908 Italian MG and the Obrez, which is a Mosin-Nagan carbine variant for the vehicle class, although there already is a C93 carbine with a stock and Presser for in the name of the Tsar DLC, so it's not clear what the status of these two weapons are, since they're not on the CTE currently. We've also recently had Frontlines come to both Argon Forest and Amyon, but DICE isn't done devaluing premium by stuffing new game modes into vanilla maps, as both Mont Grappa and Ballroom Blitz will get Frontlines next. Unlike the prior two maps, Mont Grappa with its underground bunkers and Ballroom Blitz with those rooftop campers in the Chateau should make the game mode on those maps more aids than Freddie Mercury. Speaking of Chateau, it's the location for the next iteration of the huge Battlefield 1 easter egg to unlock a secret dog tag called The Conflict, but the steps are to be done in the Chateau on Saison, not Ballroom Blitz. You've got to find some writing on a pillar, smash all the lights in the Chateau, and then map out the sandbags to correspond to the panels on the wall to be pushed in, then do the hokey pokey, turn yourself around, and you'll see some smoke when you completed the challenge. If you want to go through all these painstaking steps, the guide is in the description. Could you imagine if DICE spent as much time putting in these easter eggs as they did putting in things like, oh, I don't know, server browser for operations or tons of other shit that needs to be fixed. Now on to the better Battlefield game. For Battlefield 4, Double XP is now live along with a free download of the Final Stand DLC for all platforms that matter, ahem, <laughs> no last gen, if you missed it during the free download period last year. Well, I won't say you missed it considering that these are the worst maps in the game. However, a great map pack, Dragon's Teeth, will be available for free for PS4, Xbox One, and PC starting on August 1st, which coincidentally might be the date that Battlefield 1 will be available on EA and Origin Access according to some leaks. So, if you need your modern military fix, be sure to grab your free shit for Battlefield 4. I've been the Schwanz 27, making like a dick and beating it. Until next time.